for years now, many of you have been watching my tutorials and coming to me for mapping advice. And I've had a lot of requests for a video series like this, and today we finally have our first one. I will be critiquing your maps. Hi everybody, my name is Nate and you are watching WASD20, a channel about tabletop RPGs and fantasy maps. So, here we have a whole bunch of maps that were submitted through my Discord server. If you want to submit some for future videos, please go over to the WASD20 Discord server. I will put a link down in the video description. There is a section there called Nate Critiques and it is for this series. So, these were some of the many maps that were submitted and we're gonna have to move pretty quickly if we're gonna get through this in a reasonable amount of time. So I'm gonna keep this like a shotgun through your maps, but I'm gonna try to be a little more uh, constructive in my critique than, than shotguns would be. So here we go, let's jump in. All right, number one, we have this map here from Innkeeper Vitus, and uh, I really like what I'm seeing here. Uh, look at the level of detail on this map. It's incredible. Uh, it really looks cool. Um, the mountains are a little bit small. You can hardly tell there are mountains there when you are zoomed out here, but um, they do look nice. So I think perhaps the mountains could be a little bit bigger. Um, and obviously there's a whole lot of stuff we're not showing here, really focusing on locations, cities, uh, towns, things like that, it looks like. Now, my main piece of feedback for this map is that I think, you know, composition wise, this is maybe a bit of a nitpicky thing, but I think it could just be a little bit, uh, make better use of the space here. So you could just make this a little bit bigger here and boom, all of a sudden, to me, that is now a better map. So uh, it might seem like a rather nitpicky little thing, but that's a piece of feedback on that. Overall, and all of the maps we're looking at today, I did not find any major geographical, geological issues. I think would honestly be more fun and probably more entertaining and, and useful for you all if we did, but I, I just didn't. So most of the feedback I'm gonna be giving in this video is going to be more artistic in nature. However, if you all have any additional feedback, anything you notice about the maps that I don't, please leave comments down below. I am not the expert here, or at least maybe I'm not the only expert here. I know some of you know a lot more than me. The next map submitted here is from Jonathan B. And um, I really like what I'm seeing here. Uh, I really love the shading technique on the mountains. So uh, some feedback, however, some constructive criticism. I don't like what the slopes of these mountains are doing uh, right over here. And by the way, I'm just drawing in Photoshop on my Wacom Cintiq here, scribbling all over these maps. Um, so I think this is just a little bit too level. I know that that slope of the mountain is hard to see, and so the a tendency might be to make it a little bit more visible by making it more straight, but really I don't think you should see much of that slope. It should be going down a little bit more. At least to my eye, I think that would look a little bit better. Um, overall, I also think the, the slopes are so gradual they could be made a little more steep, uh, but still I overall like the look of them. And um, the other thing is I think that this coastline could just use a little more detail, um, a little more uh, kind of, yes, some smooth areas, but also some areas where you've got little inlets and other things that are a little bit more dramatic than what we have here, which is pretty swooping overall. Also, I think the uh, the little wavy bits here and here and here um, are cool, but there's huge areas where there's none of that. And to me, it just looks a little bit off balance. Um, overall, really like this map, really like the look of the terrain. Um, and that's just a bit of feedback for you, Jonathan. Now, before we move on here, I want to thank my sponsor for this video, World Anvil. World Anvil is an amazing tool for world builders, map makers, game masters, and storytellers of all types, as it helps us keep the huge wealth of information we produce organized. World Anvil is always improving, and they just recently added Explorer Mode, which is available to guild members at the Master Tier or higher. It puts all of your world and story information even more at your fingertips and makes creating new articles and linking things together even easier. Since we've been talking a bit about maps, yes, you can upload your maps in World Anvil and tag them with locations, notes, link articles, and all kinds of cool stuff. And Explorer Mode makes this even more intuitive, so go check it out today at worldanvil.com. All right, next map here is from Library Fox. Hello, Library Fox. Well, I think you've got a good start on your map here. I really like the way that the uh, trees are nestled in by the mountains right here. That's a look I'm a big fan of. Overall, I think the big improvement you could make is to your shading and your line work, just cleaning it up. 
So uh, the shading here just looks a little bit too scribbly. Pretty much anywhere where there's shading, uh, especially this area. Uh, hard for me to tell what's going on there, but even your mountains, I think you could just clean them up a little bit. What if you actually just took a Sharpie and went down the side instead of what it looks like, maybe a ballpoint pen or something or a very fine pen and uh, just kind of clean up your shading a bit by making it a little more solid perhaps or uh, taking your shading in a more um, clean direction like this, drawing a line and then drawing some very orderly and straight, less scribbly shading. So anyway, that's a bit of feedback for you on that map. Thank you, Library Fox. This next map is from Patrick B and it's uh, got a lot of eye candy. I really like it. I love the parchment look. I love the shading on the mountains. Uh, it just looks really nice. I really like the tree style. It kind of reminds me of like the Bob Ross, like when he takes the fan brush and goes down the, the canvas. Um, so a lot of really cool things here, a lot of flavor and just little interesting tidbits and details. Uh, but one thing that I think could be improved here a bit is just the shape of some of the mountains. Um, I think that doing this right here gives it the impression that this is kind of like a wall. And what I would like to see is a few more peaks like that. I think that would improve the look a bit. I also had a little bit of trouble with this area right up here. Uh, this line work right here, I'm just not quite sure. The ridge line technique is hard for me too. I struggle with it, so I'm not quite sure exactly how to fix it, uh, but maybe taking it something like that and then just like that a bit. So anyway, I, I struggle with that too, but something looks a little bit off right in there. Now I should note that this map is actually one of the finalists in the mapping contest going on over on the WASD20 Discord. So you can actually go over there right now and see the three finalists over on Final Contest Maps channel and uh, vote for your favorite of the three by Sunday night. So uh, go take a look over there. And we will be having more of those contests coming up in the near future as well. All right, this next one right here is from Erate, and uh, this is a pretty poor scan quality here, so it's kind of hard for me to see what's going on in a lot of it. But overall, I also think that the line work could be cleaned up quite a bit in here and uh, just try to get it a little bit neater, take a little more time perhaps to try to get a little bit neater. And uh, the other thing is the shape of the coastline to me just has too many rounded areas, too many kind of bulbous bubbling areas. Um, lots of these sorts of shapes right here. And, uh, you know, pretty much all the islands have some uh, pretty rounded areas. And there's very few kind of pointed and angular areas. All right, here we have a beautiful map from Ryan. Now, I think this was possibly made in Asgard's um, fantasy map generator or perhaps Wonderdraft, but I'm not totally sure on that. I really like the shape of the coastline. I really love all the colors and uh, the way there's kind of this area right here that has a lot of the same tones, but they're just different enough to tell the difference. The impression I got from the message was that these are each like countries and then within there are various provinces. So anyway, that's cool. But one of the big problems I have with this map is that borders generally are going to follow some natural geographic features. And out of all the rivers on this map, I can identify almost no borders that actually follow the path of a river. And that would be a natural place for a border to be because it's, it's just a natural geographic feature. The edges of deserts, a mountain range, all these geographical features can be places where a border would make sense. And I see tons of rivers and pretty much no borders that actually follow the rivers. All right, this map right here is one of a few different sections of a larger map, I think, that were submitted by Master Israel on the Discord. And um, I think my main thing with this map is, first off, I, I really like the mountains. I really like the terrain effects and kind of the, the texture you have going on. I think those things are done really well. Uh, but I think the main problem I have with the map is, to me, it just feels like the coastlines are too consistently um, craggy. You know, they're just, they have this very frayed look, which I absolutely love, but they're almost, you know, there's, there's a pattern, like your hand had the same movement for all of the coastlines all the way around the map. That just feels a little bit unnatural to me. And you can even see that a bit like down here, this kind of 
same kind of rhythm that your hand had as you were drawing these things. Uh, to me, I would love to see a few more kind of rounded and flat and, and then, yep, some more kind of craggy there and then some more rounded and pointed. And, you know, so varying that a little bit, I think would improve the look of this map. It's also a bit hard for me to tell what lines are what up in this area. Um, so I'm not quite sure what the solution to that is. Uh, maybe shading the water a bit would help actually. Uh, because especially in this area, it's just it's, it's just a bit visually confusing for me unless I'm really looking hard at like, okay, what's what's a lake here? And is this a forest or is this the, the ocean or what's going on here? But overall, really nice map, a lot of nice detail here. Next up, we've got this map from Mavis Flemmy, who also submitted a map in the mapping contest over on the Discord, although that is not this map. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. I really love the kind of visual balance you've got going on with with the dark and light and uh, it, it just looks like a really full map uh, a lot of cool things going on uh, one of the things i'll say this is kind of similar to the coastlines on the last map is that some of the mountain slopes seem a little bit too consistently jagged for me um, and i would love to see a few more smooth mountains as well it just looks like someone kind of took a jackhammer along the side of the mountain just and um, you know consistently kind of chipped away at each slope so um, to me that looks a bit unnatural uh, but other than that I don't know if I can give a whole lot of other feedback here I love this area the stony fields I love the dauntless abyss uh, the names are really great too so some of the rivers might be a bit too wide and sweepy for my taste and also I would love to see these kind of closed off here um, and then what I usually do is actually just close it off and then do a little bit of a single line uh, going from there to show that it, it thins out at some point. Uh, but to me, that just looks a little bit unfinished when it's left open like that. All right, next map we've got here is made in Wonder Draft. This is from Rocka Roll. And uh, wow, the level of detail here is insane. You put a ton of work into this. And now this is all in German. I can't read this. But um, anyway, I, I overall love this map. I think it's extremely well done. The only minor thing that I thought, huh, that's kind of odd, is the breaks in the mountain ranges here and here seem a little bit unnatural to me. Like it's just this kind of strange break in the mountain range that I'm, I'm wondering what caused that. Maybe there's a good explanation for that, but it doesn't feel natural. It just seems to me like well, it was a convenient place where I kind of needed a road through the middle of my continent. So, or in this case, a river and a road. So anyway, something to think about there. Uh, not totally sure what's going on, but uh, to me, it doesn't look quite right. Oh, and one more thing. I guess I'm not really a big fan of this coastline right here. To me, it looks a little bit too straight and again, kind of consistently jagged there. Oh, and one last thing here, you've got a lot of mountains uh, near the coasts and kind of on these islands here. And to me, it would seem a bit more natural if you actually had um, some smaller chains of island too. You tend to see that where you have mountains. It's almost like the peaks continue into the ocean and they're just sticking up a little bit. So a few little islands around these mountainous areas on the coast, I think would uh, look a little more natural. All right, next up, we've got Ryan MT. So overall, really like this map. You have very clean line work. Uh, but I, I think to me, it just feels a little bit visually boring. Like I just need a little bit more. This is too much of a just this big forest. And yeah, there's a river through it, but I would love to see a little bit something more. The other thing that I did point out on one of the other maps too, is these look a little bit unnatural to me, just how uh, jagged they are. Usually you see the slopes, uh, you know, certainly having some jagged edges, but usually it's a little bit more like this or something, um, rather than just like kind of lumpy. Still overall, I really like how clean it is and I think you've got a good start. All right, this one here is from Temery. And um, yeah, I think the immediate thing that jumps out at me is, A, I like your mountains. I like the way you have them shaded. They look nice. I like how dense they are. And B, I think the rivers are the kind of low hanging fruit for what you could improve here. Uh, the lines just look like there's not much intention behind them and they just don't look like rivers. So go to a real map and look at the way rivers flow and you're gonna find that they're not nearly this straight. There's gonna be some jagged areas and yes, some smooth and sweeping areas as well. Uh, but go look at real maps. I often struggle unless I'm looking at real maps because I don't feel like I'm very good at getting natural looking rivers either. 
The other thing is I think maybe using a, a level or a guide or something on your uh, town and city icons would help a lot. It might just be the angle of the photo too, but they look like they're just kind of tilting ever so slightly here and there. And the size of some of them look a little bit too big. Like these towns, I feel like should be a little bit smaller than some of the bigger cities and uh, things like that. All right, this map right here was submitted by the Torres and uh, it's a map on a door. So, I mean, my main piece of feedback is you are winning at life, sir. You are drawing a map on the door of your home. Well done. Some more close up photos here. So anyway, I do think that uh, I, I can see at a distance um, some of the coastlines and mountains and forests, uh, but in the photo, maybe I, I just can't see much of the other terrain. Um, so it looks like there's a lot of empty space. I think once you get closer to it, you can definitely see that the empty space is filled uh, with various types of terrain. But anyway, great idea. <laughs> Good job. I, I hope uh, your family's okay with it. And uh, I hope you get a nice coat of finish on there to protect it. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for this one. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. Make sure you leave your comments and feedback for these cartographers in a respectful manner and in a kind manner down below. And uh, I always love to hear from you. And you guys, I know, have lots of other ideas about cartography that I would love to hear. And I also want to say a big thank you to my patrons. Patrons are people who support WASD20 on a monthly basis. These people are the lifeblood of the channel. They keep me going. Thank you so much, patrons. You too can join with them. And there's some pretty cool rewards. Just go over to patreon.com slash WASD20 and you'll see some of the rewards like weekly live map drawing streams with yours truly. I also want to thank my friends over at World Anvil once again for sponsoring this video. Go check them out, worldanvil.com. And uh, yeah, that's all for this one, everybody. Take care. You'll see me again very soon.